Good morning, everyone. And on this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to be talking about my favorite type of procedural coding. It is ICD-10 PCS procedural coding system. This coding system is only used in inpatient hospital settings. It is so much fun. I will have another video that actually talks about using the book. But today I really wanted to introduce the language that is used in PCS coding since it is very specific and it is very different than what doctors use in their operation reports or medical reports. So it is something you're going to have to get used to and understand how to translate that medical report so you know what to look for in the PCS code book. So the entire code book focuses on the objective of the procedure. When you're looking at an op report, you need to figure out what the objective of the procedure is. That is the only way you're gonna find the correct code and build the correct code in the PCS code book. The first section of root operations or objective of the procedure that I want to discuss is the root operations that take out or all of a body part or take out solids, fluids, or gases from the body. There are quite a few, and they are very different to each other. It can be a little confusing at first, especially since the doctor does not use these terms, or they might not use the terms in the way PCS uses them. So keep that in mind. Don't just code to what the diagnosis is listed, because that does not tell you the objective of the procedure. You will only know that once you read through the op report to find out what that objective is. So the very first root operation in this section of taking out all or part of a body part or solids, fluids, and gases is excision, which is taking out or off without replacement a portion of a body part. With excision, some examples would be biopsies of tissue, harvesting of an autograft or native tissue from that patient that will be used in a separate part of the procedure, debridement of necrotic tissue, so taking off that dead tissue, also removal of cysts, polyps, and lesions. I will say that still to this day, I always get the removal of cysts and polyps confused with a different operation that I'll be talking about in a couple minutes. So I made a note in my code book to remind me, so I suggest you do that if you also have trouble remembering that if they're removing cysts or polyps, that means excision. And another way to look at it is cysts and polyps and even lesions, they grow from the native tissue as if they are part of the native, native tissue. So the only way to get rid of it is to literally cut it off. Also, keep in mind with excision that in PCS, they define the body parts a little bit differently than what you were taught in one of your anatomy courses. So with excision, let's say the op report says they are removing the upper lobe of the left lung. You would assume excision. They're not taking out the entire lung, they're just taking out a lobe. But in PCS, they define each lobe as a separate body part, so it has a separate character in the tables of the PCS codebook. So since they have their own separate body part character, you need to use a different root operation, which I will be introducing next. So keep that in mind. If the body part they are removing has its own body part character in the PCS code book, you should not use excision. If they're doing a biopsy of the upper lobe of the left lung, then yes, excision, that is fine. They're not taking out the entire lobe, just a small part of it. So that brings us to the next root operation, which is resection cutting out or off without replacement all of a body part. So like I was saying before, with the example of removing the upper lobe of the left lung, you might think that's excision because they're not taking out the entire lung. Since the upper lobe of the left lung and even all the different other lobes in the lung have their own separate body part character, we need to use resection since they're removing the entire lobe of that lung. You can also use resection for removal of the thyroid gland. If they're taking out the entire thyroid gland, that is resection. You are taking out an entire body part. So resection is pretty simple once you 
understand that PCS clearly defines the body parts. And then our next root operation, detachment, cutting off all or part of the upper or lower extremities. So this one's kind of fun. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. Detachment is basically talking about anything with amputation. And as you start taking courses in PCS, they will have very specific information on how to code for an amputation as far as where the amputation began in the leg or the arm, what joint it was at, and then what terms PCS uses to define that. So if it's a high, mid, or low amputation, they'll explain that, or even with the digits of your fingers and your toes, they have specific body parts for each toe. I think I might make another video just on detachment because you might skip over or miss when they're talking about the digits and toes because sometimes they use different terminology that I had never used before. So I think I'll make another video just on that one. But detachment, it's pretty simple. As long as they're taking out all or part of an extremity, literally chopping it off and removing it, then you're using detachment. Then we have destruction. Physical eradication of all or a portion of a body part by the direct use of energy, force, or destructive agent. So this one, you might find the term cryotherapy, fulguration, coblation, or ablation. And if you read an op report that uses those terms and you can't remember if it's destruction, you can always go into the index, look for the term ablation, coblation, cryotherapy, and it will direct you to the correct root operation. Then from there, in the index, go to that root operation they give you, and then you can look for the body part and then find the table you need. Thankfully, the index helps you out with terms that you might not be sure what it means. They help you out there. Thank you, PCS. And then our next root operation is extraction. Pulling or stripping out or off all or a portion of a body part by use of force. So this one, you need to make a note because specific procedures use extraction not excision or resection. You need to remember this. So with extraction, this could be for varicose vein stripping. They're literally pulling out the varicose veins. Ugh. Tooth extraction, clearly they're literally pulling the tooth out. There's no cutting involved. And then also bone marrow biopsies and endometrium biopsies. Those two are not excision. I really want to see videos on this medical procedure so I can see what it looks like because I guess with bone marrow and endometrium biopsies, they literally pull out the tissue instead of using a knife or a scissors to cut it off. That is another thing. If they are not doing any type of incision to remove the tissue or the body part, so if they're not using a knife or scissors to cut off something, then it's most likely going to be extraction because they're going to have to use their own bodily force to pull it off. It is pretty specific. Then we get to drainage. Taking or letting out fluids and or gases from a body part. This one can be a little confusing with some of the devices that procedures may be inserting. You need to remember the objective of the procedure. That will help you define what root operation to use so you are coding correctly. So with drainage, that could be removal of pleural effusion via a chest tube insertion. Now remember, chest tube insertion, you might think, oh, that's inserting a device. No, the objective is not putting the tube in, it's letting out the pleural fluids. Another one is with devices. If the procedure says insertion of a catheter, Remember, the objective of the procedure is not putting the catheter in, it's so the catheter can drain a fluid from a body part. So the root operation is drainage. Whenever there's a catheter involved, if that is the only reason they are putting a catheter in and it is staying there after the surgery is done, the objective is drainage. Then we have, this is a fun one, extirpation. I love that word. Taking or cutting out solid matter from a body part. This can be a byproduct of a biological process or function or a foreign object. If there is 
a byproduct of a biological process, like a calcification, or a blood clot, or a hematoma, or a thrombus. Technically, it is not connected to the tissues around it. It's just there in the body part, floating around freely. Then when they remove it, you would use extirpation, or with a foreign object. Like, let's say there's a gunshot wound and the bullet is hanging out in whatever body part. It's not connected to the body part, so we can use extirpation. And the very last one, fragmentation. Breaking solid matter in a body part into pieces to be passed naturally, but you have to remember, if the item that is being fragmented if they then remove it, you have to use extirpation. So if they use whatever process to break apart the item that is being fragmented, and then they go in with their tools and literally pull it out, that is extirpation. If they use whatever procedure to break the matter or the object apart, and then you pass it naturally, like sometimes with kidney stones if they're small enough, they will use a process, I believe, shockwave lithotripsy, I believe that's the one, where they use shockwaves from outside the body into where the kidney stone is, it breaks it up into smaller pieces, so then they can pass it naturally without actually having an incision to remove the pieces of the kidney stone. So fragmentation, if they're breaking up something and it's staying there so their body can pass it on its own or break it apart even more on its own, fragmentation. If they have to go in with an incision and actually pull out the fragmented pieces, extirpation is the root operation you need to use. So that is all the root operations that talk about taking out or cutting out a part or all of a body part or fluids, gases, solids. That is how we define all of those and the differences between and some examples so you know what they mean. But I will remind you, always, 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 Find out the objective of the procedure so you use the correct root operation, meaning you will be using the correct code. I will continue to make videos solely on just the root operations because there are a few other sections that have different root operations so we can discuss those and the differences between them. So thanks for watching. Bye!